Good day, everyone. Before we start, it is very important for every trader out there like to trade the futures. There is a risk in the trading. And it is very important that a trader should be aware of that, uh, the risk, and it cannot be winning all the time. So please read the disclosure very carefully. Uh, I thought we can give a little ahead a start for the trader today. We just received the new signals on the ES, and it says 20, the entry is 2701.25. So let me go ahead and get the chart. And uh, we had a buy entry on the ES right now, uh, and uh, it is 2701. That's very fine. And what is nice about it, uh, today overnight, uh, the market was really a trending. So there is nothing holding back uh, this market, and the target is 2705.50. On the pullback re-entry, we have around the 97.75. This is a very good place to re-enter the market. And um, it is really straightforward on those trades. On the NASDAQ, we just received, I think, um, let me get this chart bigger so can everybody see that. Um, uh, so I think, yes, we got a new YM because you can see there's only a couple ticks in there. So let's go on the YM. On the YM, we just received a new signal, and uh, if you read the signal on the YM, is an entry price, uh, 45.63, and then uh, the target is uh, 601, and it's right there, and this is a very nice, but watch out for the number uh, 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 580. It is a very, very... Uh, important level at 580 so be careful we might gonna be able to get a little kickback from this number uh, on the Nasdaq uh, we have an entry I guess we still have an earlier today the Nasdaq made over 100 tick but it doesn't matter what happened in the past right now 618 uh, let's see and then also, there is nothing to hold in this market, and we have an entry uh, 1125, and the target is 824.50. On the pullback re-entry, if this market is going to pull back, is 6803.25. So today is going. The market it seems like uh, is going to move pretty well. Uh, we can always spot it from uh, around 3 o'clock in the morning. And if you look at those uh, trades, they all has been taken from 3 o'clock in the morning. 3 o'clock, it is Eastern time. It is almost around where the European markets open. So this is where the futures really, sometimes we can get benefits around 3 o'clock morning Eastern time. Uh, when the European market open. Uh, there is a really a lot of combination between the DAX and the ES, whether we like it or not. The ES in one country and the DAX in a different country. But if the DAX is moving or the ES is moving for some reason, they can be related to each other, despite the ES is in one country and the DAX in a different country. So if we notice... Uh, this is also very important for the automated trading. Uh, if we look at the one minute uh, on the NASDAQ as, a, as an example, uh, this one here probably was not, but we had the entry at uh, six, uh, 868, and on the one, uh, one minute we have it 867.50. So you can see between the one minute and the 150 ticks, there is always they're almost close to each other on 150 ticks in one minute. So this is a very important information, uh, whatever auto trading you are using. Uh, so if your minute, as we said before, if your minute automated trading, one minute, uh, it is accurate, uh, can make money on the one minute, 
then it is easier to, to jump to different uh, uh, time frame, whether you are a range trader or a tick trader or 150 ticks or 288 or 244. But most of the traders, they have a different, they have a magic number with the ticks. So this is a very good information, whatever auto trading you are using. If the, and you can see on all the, the auto trades, the one minute and the 150 ticks, almost the same entry. Uh, if we look at the range, it's a little bit off because the range is a total different one. Uh, the entry on the NASDAQ was 85.25. So this is not bad at all. So if we are looking at the YM, uh, just want to highlight that, you know, for just information to the trader. If you look at the 150 ticks, we have 715 as an entry earlier today. And you can see all the auto trades, they start around 3 o'clock Eastern time, AM Eastern time. This is a very good timing uh, for overnight or for guys are overseas, uh, whether you are in Australia or in, um, in Europe, uh, this is a very good 3, 3.30 uh, uh, Eastern time, uh, or in Frankfurt, uh, 9.30 morning time. It is very good to even uh, do the futures, even the US future on the Frankfurt time. It is really uh, when uh, you can see where Tuskland open in the morning to Germany, and then you can, um, um, uh, for those guys in eastern countries or or in a, South America or in Australia, they have uh, better chances to, to work with the European time. So uh, let's say if you are in Australia, uh, probably you are around the morning uh, time. So a 3 o'clock Eastern time to trade U.S. futures are extremely good. And a lot of times you find on the CL, and the YM, actually, they run very smoothly uh, during those time uh, than even better sometimes than when the U.S. markets open. So it's not unusual. Actually, uh, there is, I know a lot of European traders, uh, they use uh, the CL during the European time because it is a bit smoother, uh, less noises, and less choppy, especially if you keep your eye on the DAX, uh, you can see how things working with the ES, and you, they can actually uh, uh, predict each other, the ES and the DAX. And, and this is one of the secrets I kept for a very long time. We use the signals from NT7 uh, on the, for our traders, you can use uh, the trading panel on the ES, and practically you can predict what's going on on uh, the DAX seconds ahead of time. So if we are looking at the YM, this is really important information on the one minute. You can see the entry was 24, uh, 47, uh, 15, and we can see on the one minute it was 47, 15. So this is really important information if you, uh, this can help. Uh, also, if we notice on the ES between the 280 takes, 88 takes for the latest version and uh, the latest volatility right now we have, uh, the market has been uh, really hard uh, for the last four weeks. It has been a lot of volatility, not too much uh, a spike in the market, small trades all the time, and it is chopped all the time. So once in a while uh, for the last three, four weeks, we've been getting a, a few runs here and there, but it is a really, really uh, difficult time uh, to to uh, to uh, just ignoring uh, the volatility right now in the market. So if we notice also on the uh, ES, here is your 288 ticks, and we have the entry. Uh, also, you can see all of them after three o'clock. Uh, it is 27:15:25 the entry, and this is your key actually today earlier. And if we look at the 244 ticks, it was 27, 15, 25. And uh, let me double the check on the one minute. And if we look at the one minute, also it was one trade on the one minute. Uh, because we start at three o'clock. So uh, three o'clock is around here. This is where we started. 
if we start earlier, probably would have got bigger trade, but doesn't matter. Uh, three o'clock is very good for overnight. And you can see it was at 3.13. So all those trades that were taken after three o'clock and the entry was uh, 27.15. So practically, if we look at the bigger picture, we can see the 288 ticks and the 244 ticks and the 27.15, uh, the, the one minute, uh, they were all one minute, 244 ticks and 28. Uh, 288 ticks, they are on the same entry practically. Uh, on the CL, uh, we had an entry also uh, around uh, 25 minutes after being activated. And this is not much, but uh, for overnight, that's not bad. Uh, we had an entry at uh, 65.16, and uh, we're still on the trade on a range. And uh, this is funny on the two. 88 ticks NASDAQ, we had an entry at 350, but then took one more to trade, and it was done at 439. So what tells us is when the market is moving, the auto trade makes money. It doesn't matter which auto trade. One is better than the other, of course. One have more efficient than the other. That's very good as an entry signal and an exit. And then what it does, it requires some management. It does not require a guy know how to trade, but it requires management and patience. But either or either way, you have to look at the market if today it is a chop or not. What we are looking at usually from 3 o'clock until now, right now is 7.50. Let me get uh, one of those clocks. Uh, right now is 7.51. Uh, AM. So this is a very good run uh, for uh, the morning, which indicate today uh, we will have very nice uh, runs, uh, especially for Thursday. We are expecting to be uh, moving market and like Monday and uh, Friday, it, it is very advisable to start a bit early on a Friday because after a couple hours of trading, there is a different if you go back to the uh, other videos I have covered uh, that uh, the first couple hours that would be okay after the opening hours but then you need to take a break and then around 1 o'clock p.m. Uh, Eastern time usually not every time there is nothing it's a very consistent in the market every day comes in in a different color but it's around 12 30 1 o'clock uh, p.m. Eastern time this is where the market is going to make a direction. Uh, it cannot be every Friday, but most of the Fridays, so it could be taken off one direction, either short or long on Friday, and keep going back and forth. But it is the same direction, it either long all the way till the rest of the session, or short all the way till the rest of the session. So for this is for our members. If you have not got the latest update, Please get the latest update. One thing here, we do webinars. And uh, for the guys uh, that don't want to come to webinars, uh, we try to record it. Sometimes I forget to record the webinar. But it is very important to come into the webinars and, and try to, to see what's going on. Stan calling me uh, and telling me what's going on. Uh, maybe, you know. So please. For the ones that do, our members, they do not have the link to our webinar, uh, please contact me. We send you the link, and then you, you will understand what we have done or what kind of update we have. Or if you have questions, you can ask a question. But um, if somebody will not contact us, how would we know if this guy having a problem or not? So if you don't call me or you, you ask for the link, and we always in the webinar ask if there's anybody have a question. So if somebody disappeared for six months and then pop out and telling me, uh, I don't understand this auto trade, uh, the new update. I mean, you know, if we've been covering it for six months and there we go, you come out. You know, we're not responsible for that. You know, you have to look after yourself as well. We are glad to help, but uh, that's why we have the webinars to show 
the new update and how to trade it, what kind of time frame you have, and uh, all those, they are in the webinar. Uh, so again, folks, uh, we wish you the best for today. Seems like we're gonna have a wild ride today on uh, Thursday, so hopefully, will uh, please be safe in your trading. God bless you all, and see you later on on the live trading.